Hey everyone, John here from testpreppinsight.com and today I'm going to be reviewing the Rocket Korean language program. I'm going to cover how the Rocket program is structured, what their learning method is all about, the pros and cons of using this app, and of course whether I think it's an effective program for learning Korean. And just as a heads up, since I'll just be covering the major highlights in this video and trying to keep things kind of short, if you find you need some more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed writ review over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Rocket Korean Review. That's the quickest way to find that guide. Okay, so first up, let's talk about how the Rocket Korean program is organized. And unlike other language courses for Spanish, Italian, French, etc., the Rocket Korean course consists of just one level. In other words, their Korean program does not progress into the advanced realm. It's really more so designed for beginners. But anyway, within this level, there are seven modules to complete. Then breaking it down further, there are several lessons that make up each module. And the key point to remember here is that there are three different types of lessons within the Rocket Korean program. Audio lessons, language and culture lessons, and writing lessons. I'll talk about each lesson format in more detail when I get to the pros and cons sections, but for now, just know that the audio lessons focus on honing your listening comprehension and verbal skills, the writing lessons obviously focus on your writing abilities, and finally, the language and culture lessons include detailed grammar instruction and cultural insights. So really, that's the Rocket Korean program in a nutshell. You've got one main level, seven modules, and each module is comprised of different types of lessons. So with that background in mind, let's quickly cover pricing since that's always a big deal. So unlike other apps like Pimsleur and Rosetta Stone, for example, which offer monthly subscription plans, Rocket only offers lifetime plans. You purchase their Korean course and own it for life. You can purchase the Korean course for around $60. And it's important to note that that price is after applying a discount. And that's important because Rocket is almost always running some sort of sale or special promotion. In other words, don't pay attention to the full MSRP shown on the company's website. You should be able to save more money by checking for promo codes and discounts. In fact, I'll actually do my best to keep the description down below updated with the most current codes and coupons that I can find. So make sure to check out that text below the video screen if Rocket does end up being a good fit for you. I'm usually able to find codes that'll take 50 to 60% off MSRP. So taking a step back, it's obviously difficult to compare Rocket's pricing against other Korean language apps since they don't offer monthly plans. However, if you just look at the lifetime options, I'd say the Rocket Korean program is actually a pretty good deal for only $60. For comparison purposes, Rosetta Stone's lifetime plan costs around $200 and Pimsleur's costs north of $400. So all in all, the Rocket Korean program is actually a pretty good deal, even though it might not seem like it on the surface. All right, so now that we've talked about cost and how the Rocket Korea program works from a high level, let's get to the good stuff. The pros and cons as I see them. And let's start with the positives. And the first one is definitely the company's audio lessons, which are really the heart and soul of the Rocket curriculum. Honestly, in my opinion, they are just so much better than the lessons from other popular language learning apps like Duolingo and Memrise. So here's how they work. You start with a 20 to 30 minute audio exercise in which an English speaking host guides you through a conversation between two fluent Korean speakers. The host will introduce the situation and provide some context and then regularly pause the conversation to explain key points, discuss different grammar principles, and most importantly, ask you questions to ensure you're staying engaged and understand what's being said. To me, this type of lesson format is really effective. Not only are you getting real world exposure to fluent Korean speakers within the context of an actual conversation, as opposed to simply learning and repeating individual words without context, but you also get to actively participate yourself. It's about the closest thing you can get to a Korean tutoring session without having to pay an actual tutor. All right, so before we move off this subject, I'd also like to point out that because a large chunk of the Rocket curriculum is audio based, it gives you options as to when, where, and how you want to complete lessons. In other words, you don't always have to be sitting down staring at your computer screen or iPhone. Instead, you can simply put in your headphones, turn on one of the audio lessons, slip your phone in your pocket, and make progress while you're doing other things. It's just nice that Rocket doesn't dictate the circumstances in which you can make progress, unlike a lot of other apps. All right, so following each audio lesson, you're then prompted to complete a set of what Rocket calls reinforcement drills, which are designed to work on your reading, writing, and pronunciation. Through these drills, you get the necessary practice to develop your expressive language skills. And specifically, I'd like to highlight Rocket's verbal reinforcement drills here because they're much more comprehensive and useful than what other language companies offer. After each audio lesson, Rocket gives you the opportunity to replay the conversation, but this time you step into the shoes of one of the two fluent speakers. 
That way you get the experience of using the language under pressure and within the setting of a real conversation, which is ultimately much more powerful and realistic than simply repeating words and phrases with no frame of reference. And then next, I'd also like to highlight Rocket's speech recognition technology. So as you complete the simulated conversations that I just covered or the company's other verbal practice drills, Rocket's speech software is listening and will grade your pronunciation on a scale from one to 100. It's actually pretty cool. I've tested dozens of speech recognition tools at this point, and I have to say that Rocket's is hands down one of the best. It's responsive, easy to use, and in my experience, it's really accurate, which really isn't a surprise considering how it's powered by Google's Web Speech API, which a lot of language experts consider to be one of the most advanced tools in the world. All right, so last up here is Rocket's approach to grammar instruction. So while most other language companies simply provide learners charts and tables to memorize with no real explanations, Rocket takes grammar instruction very seriously and even offers dedicated lessons for the subject. Not only is the commentary in these lessons detailed and helpful, but Rocket also includes interactive drills throughout the grammar lessons to make sure you're understanding the concepts at hand. For me, as someone who likes plain English explanations of grammar principles, these were really useful. All right, so now let's switch sides to the things that I didn't necessarily like about Rocket Korean. But before I get to that, I should just mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free language learning course to one lucky person. Super simple to enter in, everyone is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description, but just know it takes like 10 seconds and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free subscription to Rocket Korean. All right, so negative number one is the fact that the Rocket lessons are pretty lengthy. There's just no getting around it. The audio exercises take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes to complete, and then the reinforcement drills take about the same amount of time. So all in all, you're looking at around 40 to 60 minutes to complete one lesson, and that doesn't even include the dedicated writing and grammar lessons. So bottom line, if you're short on time and can only dedicate five or 10 minutes per day towards learning Korean, then maybe another program like Rosetta Stone or Mondly would be a better fit with their quick, engaging lesson format. And then next up, as you can probably guess by now, Rocket is not a great fit for visual learners. There's no video component to the course, and even the use of images and graphics is pretty limited. And lastly, as I mentioned earlier, there is no level two or three within the Rocket Korean program. This differs from Rocket's other courses, which take learners from newcomer level all the way up to more advanced levels of fluency. However, with Rocket Korean, if you complete level one in its entirety, you're likely only gonna reach an A2 to B1 intermediate level of fluency. So I guess it really just depends on what your goals are. At a B1 level of fluency, you can get by in most day-to-day -day situations. So if that's all you want or need, then great, Rocket should be a good fit for you. But if not though, and maybe you need to be able to communicate a little bit more efficiently at a managerial or professional level, then you might need to start with Rocket just to learn the basics and then transition to working with a tutor. But anyway, that about does it for the detail in this review. So let's get to my final verdict. Should you choose Rocket to learn Korean? Well, to be clear, this program is not a fun game-like app like Duolingo. It's a very detailed, comprehensive course, so if you're just looking to learn a few phrases here and there to impress your girlfriend's family, then there might be better choices out there for you. But with that said, if you're serious about learning Korean and reaching an A2 or B1 level of fluency, then the answer is absolutely yes. I think Rocket is a great choice. This is easily one of the most effective and well-rounded Korean programs on the market, in my opinion. It offers everything you need thorough audio exercises that feature fluent Korean speakers, realistic speaking exercises, accurate speech recognition technology, insightful grammar instruction, cultural nuggets, you name it. I was just really impressed. Plus, it doesn't hurt that the company's lifetime subscription packages are more affordable than most competitors. But anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something about Rocket Korean. If so, please return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and drop me a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full detailed written review of Rocket Korean that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website. Again, that's testprepinsight.com, or you can check out the other videos we have on our YouTube channel. Got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.